Hey everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. So, I kind of lied when I said I would finish this up. And then when we come back, we're actually going to start back up with the um, finishing the embossing. And then we're going to go into, so next is the fall. And if you watched the last little, the video on the last Sweet Pea Journal that I did, not a fan of the fall. Just the way it sticks to my fingers. You guys know how I feel about glue and paint and other stuff on my fingers however you know i guess we're going to use the inky gold and it's going to get everywhere and let's see i have multiple colors i already know which one i'm going to use but i'm going to get all these out so that you guys can just see the different colors crap just dropped a stamp um so i have this this is uh petrol but it looks kind of like a bluish green color really pretty and then this is actually the one we're going to use now this is not Inca gold this is some other stuff I think I got on markdown and just grabbed it but it's like a silver color and this is gonna have silver rings on it and I think I'm gonna to try to find some silver bling so I think we're gonna use that one yep so we will set it out somewhere there and then of course I have the Inca gold I have the uh, Kip Kupner Kofer, copper, copper, anyway, copper. And then this one is some metallic something. It was $749 at Hobby Lobby. I got it for $269. And that says lava red. So do you have some different colors in that? And then of course I got the pink, which is uh, rose, in, rose, rose quartz. Yeah, rose quartz. So I thought maybe we'd use some of that too. So last time I did it with a. Um, what did I do it with? A paintbrush. But I'm thinking this time we'll just use our fingers and get it over with. How about that? Oh, shucks. I wish this handle would stop coming off. So I don't know if they still sell these. So, like, these were free in a um, Facebook markout haul that I did. And as long as it stays on there, it works really well. But when it doesn't, it's aggravating as crap. Okay, so what? Got embossing powder on there. What color? Let's do white. On this one. Let that sit on there for a moment. Maybe figure out what stamp we're going to do next. Have we did the Tiffany one? Can't remember. Let's see, we did Vintage. Go Cafe. Tiffany. I don't think we did Tiffany and Company. So we'll do it next. you're all having a good day today doing pretty good still Monday when I'm filming all right here comes the loudness guys yeah still Monday when I'm filming maybe 30 minutes after the last video just wanted to get get these going and this cough is still you know semi rough at times um, going back to work tomorrow so probably not going to fill up to filming tomorrow after work so or Wednesday who knows how it's going to go um, but just in case I wanted to go ahead now that's cute I like that I like how that turned out okay so there's that one we only got a couple more and then this one, I want the copper, because I like all these darker color. Oh, are we going to do Tiffany & Company on this one, or do I want something else? I want something bigger and prominent on that one. So I think I'm going to do this one. 
make sure again I got it going the right way. Um, yeah, just not sure how you know work's gonna go, or how I'm gonna feel, or how I'm gonna sleep tonight. You know, all that good junk. Get that about there. When we cut it, we're gonna have a little bit on the other page, which I, which I actually kind of like that. So. Do the Tiffany and Co. on the other one over there, which will be the last one. So let's go ahead and get it ready. Preferably the right way going. That's going to be pretty. Oh no. Alright, where did you go? Oh, okay, I gotta send up Thunder because she really left me. Oh, mercy me. Can't find it, guys. Oh, there it is. Well, wait, I cut your mouth. Ain't. For those of you who don't know, a country mile is a wee bit longer than a regular mile. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard that expression before, but yeah. Country mile is always longer than a regular mile. Okay. So we got that. Now time for the noise. So here we go. I need to go to the nail salon and get my nails cut down. I want to do some um, more bead dangles. I am watching Sheila over at um, Loho Daydreams Sheila on YouTube watching her tutorials. She makes the prettiest bead dangles, guys. But watching her tutorial on how to do those uh, not good at it because you know, guys know I have problems with my hands. So the very first one I did, I called her um, Lucy Goosey because she was a bit loose. So I've got to figure out how to get my hands in there good. Okay, that one's pretty. Um, yeah, I get my hands in there good like so I can get it closer. Okay, so one more. Oh, we said we were doing Tiffany and Co. So, yeah, I'll come over there. Silly goose. But yeah, named her Lucy Goosey because she was a bit loose. Uh, I actually gifted gifted her to Tammy, my friend, that is a fellow crafter and also on... Um, I'm going to go in the middle. I'm going to go up top. That's up top. Um, what am I trying to say? Um, what what color did I say? Wait. Um, yeah, get your words together, Lori. Um, fellow design team member for Doreen at Ula La Vintage Treasures. Met her. She lives... Actually, for those of you guys that didn't see it, if anybody's new... Um, she actually found I actually found out she lives in the town that I work in. Okay, we need a small one on there. Maybe we'll do journal. No. Maybe we'll do this one. We haven't did this one. Gosh. <laughs> guys, guys, I'm having problems. Bunches of problems. <laughs> you just, it's not going to believe I'm dropping everything. There goes it. Oh, my word. This is, this is hilarious. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, this one looks like it may have smeared a little bit, but we're going with it, so it doesn't matter. Again, we still have other fun stuff to do with it, so those um, imperfections can be cleared up with that somewhat. And if not, who really cares, guys? You guys know you're not getting perfection from my channel. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, that I smeared a bit, but I think we'll be okay. There we go. So when we cut it, hopefully we'll get Tiffany on one side and company on the other. Yeah. Okay. So this one we were going to do is... Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Shoot. Little sucker. This won't stay on there for nothing. Okay. Went in like that. And I think I just smeared it as well. I felt it move. Hopefully we'll be okay. I want to do a number on that other one. Okay, let's do some copper. I really like the copper. No, I changed my mind. Let's do pink. I'm entitled to change my mind, guys. Okay, I'll we'll do pink on this one. Woohoo! I hope you guys are having fun if you're making one of these. I would highly recommend it. I think maybe I'm addicted because I already have seven or eight pages painted in that. Um, Blue, what was it? Blue, 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 blue Bahama. Make us a song out of that. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest, some more pages painted. Hopefully today for that. And I already have the pink ones. Now, you know, we have the bigger cards, like the 4 by 6 but then we also have the 3 by 5s that she recommended. Uh, so, I may do a smaller journal, Sweet Pea Journal, in the 3 by 5 yeah, three by five. Uh, because I already have pink ones ready for that. So, and guys, if you want to make them and you don't want to pay, uh, do the pages like you like the thing, you could do it more like a um, regular ring bound journal. And by that I mean you don't have to paint the pages, you don't have to do all the gesso. You could just take, guys, the white card, and this is real heavy cardstock, no line. Um, go over and check out Sheila, subscribe to her channel, find her Sweet Pea, I think it's like, um, six videos in that series, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and she has a link to those, um, in her description box, um, if you don't want to do that, you can go over, I don't have a link to it, I may try to find it, um, but yeah, you could go and actually just search, uh, thick index cards is all I searched, no I didn't, I went through her link. Um, but if you go through my, um, uh, I am affiliate of Amazon, so if you go through my links and just search it, then, uh, I will get a small, oh, hello, what are you doing? Blowing time. <laughs> I'll get a small commission, so, completely up to you, and they're relatively inexpensive, guys, and you get like a hundred, so, you only use twelve per journal, so that's a lot, um, and they do have the rings over there. I think I have an order coming of the rings. And I got a silver pack, a gold pack. But I also got a rose gold pack. Because I really do love rose gold. Um, oh, that's pretty. Look, guys. It turned out so cute. Um, 
Um, so yeah, you can, like I said, go through my links or go through her links. Doesn't really matter to me either way. Alright, there we go, guys. Super cute. Okay, so that... Um, was that the last one? Let's see, we had this one. And I think I just wanted to do a number. Did I leave a number out? I did not. Let me grab a number of some sort. I want here. No, I want it at the top. Because if I, I could do lace at the bottom so as not to cover anything up here. Um, let's see. Get back in there, and these are the sample stamps. Oh, yeah, I did that one. I was like, we didn't do that one either. It stared me in the face. Goodness. Okay. And these guys are the. Uh, I bought the uh, Tim Holtz folder, um, and these came in it. And I bought some extra packs of these. I love that. As far as storing these things because I'm still trying to get more organized because I'm so unorganized it um, severely gives me heart palpitations because I'm so unorganized let's see this one um, so I am trying to get better at that so I have his stamp one or actually I have two of his stamp ones and then three I think uh, two stamp ones and three um, oh shoot like one embossing one for embossing and then another one for die cuts that it's totally upside down girl get a grip April um, yeah so I mean I would make, recommend those two and I got them off of Amazon so no, I did not. I got the one for the stamps, the two for the stamps off Amazon, because those I haven't seen them sold in the like the Hobby Lobby and stuff. Um, the other three I actually got at Hobby Lobby when they were doing forty percent off of Tim Holtz. It's the only reason I got three because you know those things are not cheap. I'm gonna do copper again. I really love this copper, so yeah, forgive me if it's like copper overload, but I think it's just the way it shimmers and shines is so pretty. Um, yeah, but I got those. Let me grab them while that sits out. Oh no, don't let me grab them because I got craps on top of them on my shelf. Sorry, anyway, yeah, so it's just the uh, Sizzix stamp holder and the Sizzix die cut holder yeah there you go you can search it and find it um, and as always you know I recommend I don't think my Sizzix Tim Holt well in fact I know not that I don't think I know I've never paid full price for anything Tim Holtz uh, I've never paid full price for any of my Fisker stuff um, never paid full price for a any of the paper pads that I have and you guys know um, I've gotten a lot and I actually have another one guys Facebook market haul which was really good and a crap load of pads but that's all the embossing I um, don't know that I'll do a video it's just so much really all right here we go Um, but yes, I always like to shop my Tim Holtz stuff at Hobby Lobby, my Sizzix stuff, when they are 40% um, off. It's the only time I buy my punches. Never paid full price for a punch. I have paid full price a lot for sample stamps. Those were full price. And this one numbers, guys. I believe I told you guys I ended up with two because... I was impatient. There we go. That's pretty. Okay. So that does it for this. So we will just try and get a little bit of this stuff like out of our way. 
and once I finish this video I'm going to take the time to get my stamps put back up oh where they go like a good girl keep that together that there get it out of our way okay so now we are gonna Inca Inca gold let me put the last ones we did aside I don't know if these are like I guess they are instantly dried when you're done um, with your heat tool or not okay I am to leave my cover together and sp or separate and spend some extra time on it Okay, those are the last two that we did. Okay, so now we are ready. Uh, what am I doing? What did I do with it? Uh, oh, there it is, right in front of my face. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Okay, so we'll, we're just going to pick a finger, I guess. And we're actually going to have to pick two fingers because we've got two colors here. Although I might pause and go wash. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, I can't do it, guys. Let me grab a couple of small. Oh, that was me being too, um, too what, ambitious, maybe? I don't really know what the word is. Okay. So, we will get the... Some of this silver on the edge here and I don't think it takes this stuff too long to dry either if I remember correctly I have used this one a couple of times and it just gives it a little sparkle and a little shine Oh, she does. Just put a little bit. Here and there, not much. But it's enough to give it a little something, something. Oh, let me show you guys this. So the um, textured paste, when I did it, I had some left in the bowl. And I had some of this, like, packing paper over here. And I just did my extra gesso on it, not to waste it, um, on this piece of embossed, um, that looks like handmade paper, and on, oh, I did sit it out, and these that I have, I did some on some of those, yeah, can you guys see that, yeah, so, yeah, so we'll have those to play with later, and again, that's just too... Oh, my, my my webcam almost came on. Done. Just about give myself a heart attack. Mess my video up. Um. Yeah. So that's what I did to keep from like wasting that gesso I had left. So let's just go all the way around the edges a bit. mom's coming over Thursday when I'm off we're gonna have so I gotta get my filming done because I will not be filming while she's here so I can give her my undivided attention because it's been a little while since oh, shucks what was that oh I'll find it later who knows um give her my un undivided attention while she's here because it's been a little while since She's been able to come over. They are actually, um, I think they're still in Florida. Maybe they're coming back today. I think they left to go on a beach trip and to see my um, cousin, my Aunt Gloria, who passed daughter, I think was going to come over and spend 
a day with them at the beach. So yeah. Maybe it's today they're coming back. But at any rate, she will be here Thursday. And Zarion the other day wanted to um, stay with me. I think it was this past Thursday. And I'm like, Boogie, I got too much to get done today. So I told them, Granny and my mom just actually went on a beach trip with Veronica and her two kids, Jaslyn and, oops, sorry guys, Jaslyn and Zerion, Veronica invited her to go, so she went with them there, so she's gotten several beach trips this year, but, um, yeah, they had a really good time, but I'm like, I told Zerion, I'm like, Granny's coming over, so let's do it Thursday, and we will order, we're going to order delivery pizza for lunch which will be fun so we're gonna have lunch together super fun want those babies to spend as much time as possible with my mother so that they have those memories you know they're really important Got too much over the year, but it'll be okay. Go. This can feel very time consuming. But it's fine. So we'll do the one side, I'll let it dry, and then I will do the other side, and then when we come back, when we come back, baby, let's see, yeah, we will be actually cutting them and then punching our holes, which with the first one, I made a template, so I will have that to use on all of these that I do, so that's good, I would highly recommend a template. So you didn't have to do that measuring like, you know, every single time you did one. If you plan on doing more than one, um, you'll have that ready. So that'll make it super quicker. Okay. Let's see. Where are we time -wise? Okay, we're still good. I don't have too many more to go. So we'll finish these up. Like I said, then I will do... Um, the other side and when we come back we will get to putting this girl together and then of course <clears throat> excuse me at the end we will be decorating okay, I think those are good to put in the pile there putting all of our bling bling and should be I got another um, order in of some trims from Sheila so I'm hoping because she is going I love her trims guys Ugh. her blush kit I just got it is absolutely gorgeous um, I think I did a shop share on that or YouTube share because she does like the videos on YouTube to let you know what she has available and then you email her what you want and she'll let you know what's still available so you do have to be quick because they do sell out quick um, but yeah I have she had a couple of um, well actually three well she had three but the blue sold so I wasn't able to land the blue I think it was like when she showed it she said she had to get confirmation and that was confirmed so I didn't get the blue pack which I would like to have a blue pack um, but I got two other packs but she is actually should be by now when I'm filming this which is Monday heading out to Canada to spend time I believe with her grandkids kids and grandkids so 
Um, she's actually going to be gone through September. Probably won't be back, I think she said, till October. So no more trims from her till, you know, then. And that's going to feel like forever away. So you know I'm going to be using these, like, very sparingly. The trims that I do have. Just so pretty on here. I do want to go to my local flea market, which I never really go to and see there um, I know I've gotten some lace from a lace shop in there before but it's been like probably over a year since I've even been there only because it's always so busy covered up with people Ugh. you're like shoulder to shoulder trying to get through this flea market it's an indoor flea market it's supposed to be Georgia or the world's largest flea market maybe it's Georgia's largest uh, flea market they do have some amazing food in there though Authentic Mexican food. Oh my gosh. You guys know I just die for that. Um, so yeah, I want to get by there. And check out... Okay, that one's been done. That one's been done. Okay, so I guess my cover is all we got left. So I want to be... A little extra careful with it just because it is my cover um but yeah i want to get by there and see about you know their prices and what they have like trim with bling is what i'm looking for i have enough lace lord jesus do i have enough lace um but that blingy trim not so much just I've got a couple of pieces, but not a lot, but mostly just what I have gotten from Sheila is what I have, so. Okay, guys, I think that's it. Try to get off of that, off my brush. Okay, guys, so that is the one side. So we got our embossing finished, and now we've did our, <coughs> excuse me, in place of the um, uh, gold flakes, which I'm not a fan of, just because it's sticky to my fingers. Sticky to my fingers. Um, we did that. Yeah, Inca gold. So, I'm going to let those dry, flip them over, do the other side, and then whenever we come back, we're going to be probably cutting, putting in our holes, and decorating, or at least halfway decorating, in our next video. I hope you guys are enjoying this project. Please give me a thumbs up. Give me a quick hi. That does help grow my channel. Something about the algorithm. Is that how you say that? I have no clue. I'm oblivious to it all. But anyway, it helps me. helps my channel grow, and I would really appreciate it. I love this cover. It's going to be this side. And if you guys will remember, or if you didn't see it, I'll grab it real quick. This is actually going to go there to frame out this. So very excited about that. Alright guys, I love you guys. Thumbs up. Tell me hi. Um, yeah, we will see you guys next time. Bye bye.